All right, let's keep going. Take a nice food break. Spent like 10 minutes cooking some pasta, and then another 10 minutes eating it, and I feel much better. I don't know if you ever had that thing where like you don't eat for a while and you start getting like weak, you know? It's kind of what I was having. I'm going first? What the fuck am I game? It's not lag here. All right. The Imperial Arena does not condone necromancy, but we do condone Summon a 1 1 skeleton. That's like our jogger dude, just. Not him, right? Probably should have cycled the bat. Ooh! So we have fog. Oh, it's this is. Okay, it's this lane. Right on. Y'all yeah, get some tempo, please. You're gonna shackle me. No. My turn. I can't do a turn, bro. Let's. I don't want to give this dude value here, the honestly. Like, I am determined to kill it with this damn crab. I should probably end my turn. That probably helps move the game forward when I actually press the end turn button. Alright. Tell me how you really feel. That was... What the hell was that? Oh. <laughs> that was a really weird, sneaky you won't even see way to do that. So let's... And we could make the crab super buff. Let's do this. And then this way we can... Oh. I see. Let's do this. Let's get the value trade. Get the health back. And now this way we have a good trade here. With our two, our two guys and our skeleton. See? There's your thing, then I get my skeleton back. And then you have a guard, because fuck you. That kind of sucks, but we're slowly chipping away over here on uh, on this side. So what we could do we could just make one buff ass spriggan. We're actually not going to attack here. This might be wrong. Because what happens here? It makes like a trade with one of these, right? And then I can, yeah, it's fine. I don't want to float the mana. That's the other thing. Whatever. We're actually not going to attack on that side either. Shit. Did I misplay? I think I did. Yeah. He's getting all his guard on this side. That kind of sucks. So hopefully he doesn't have, like, some kind of silence. Like he's about to do with the minus four. That seems wrong. Is it just this turn? Yeah, what the fuck? Okay. I'll try and ping and kill that thing if we can. I don't know if we'll be able to. Ooh! I see value. The longer the odds. Not that it really matters. This thing dies for free. Right, let's keep punching face over here. Coming. He's not fighting for board too much on that side, but this one dude just keeps getting free shots. So I could do this. This is basically a one damage ping. Do this. And give him the skeleton. And then... Let's... Mm. Cause what's he do? He's gonna like... He might trade here for me. Cause I don't see this, this happening. I see this happening. If I leave it alive. Like, I see this, and then this, and then, or like this, this, and that. So, figuring out his trades is gonna be a big thing here. I feel like I should finish this, like, for the utmost of tempo. But then also, what happens? I can't really kill this if I do that. Like, I don't wanna trade my skeleton, but I get skeletons back too, and he doesn't have them. I feel like finishing that is the correct play. But it doesn't feel good. You get what I'm saying? Like, if I do this, he gets a skeleton back and he can't put anything else here, so it's like, what are his trades? After that. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wait. I think we'll wait. Let's see what he does.
Maybe I should trade my skeleton there, like preemptively. Then he's gonna shackle. That card is ridiculous. That was exactly what I was afraid of. And I can't really answer that. All right, we're gonna look at my card again. Whoa, spooky card. <laughs> he's out of magic elixirs too. All right, so. You won't even see me. You're gonna have to make that trade. Cause I can't even attack your dude. You got a prophecy draw, that kinda sucks. It has been written. Draw a card. Oh, what? Dude. What? Are you joking? Did you see that? Fucking double prophecy top deck. Baby rage. The fuck is this? I'm gonna place this here. This doesn't... This is not good value. And I could play it here, and this goes two for one. If I play it here, what happens? It, like, loses... Actually, it's got five, so it'd be, like, these two. So it kind of, like, goes one. One for one and a half, and I get the token back. If I play it here, then this thing goes two for one, and then... the uh, the Iron Gate just kind of sits there while I chip away at it. Whatever, let's just play this. The spiders are actually going to be really good for the... What you call it? The, uh... This lane. Because I will be able to... Damn, he's just going to stall now. Oh no, on the gate, I knew it. Got punished for not playing that thing in that lane. He's making trades, good shit. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, because, like, he would have did this, and traded there, and then he would have double traded. Yeah, I would have been in the same position, he just has five less damage on the board, so that might have been right. I don't have a charger, do I? No, I don't. Uh, I may play this here, actually. Just get the damage. Probably gonna trade here. To dry Get that. More skeletons. And do I have a two? I do have a two. I'm going to use this here to kill your thing. I'm just gonna kill these tokens, and then you can't kill my guy, so I can still fight over there. And then I'm probably gonna do this here. Just because I need to get through this shit quickly, because I'm... I might be dead, actually. Let me look at this. He has six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Rip. That's two losses. He's going to BM play his whole hand out. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. Would have been nice to draw a Prophecy Taunt or something like that. Damn. So one thing that sucks... In these kind of card games, is like Hearthstone's AI does this too. Most of the time, they just go fucking face. And if you played any card game, if they go face, which is like punching your character directly, it's like it's really hard to. If you don't draw the right things, it's hard to come back. Like I didn't draw too many taunts there. I'm sure I misplayed at some point. I told you I was really afraid of that shit. Our I think more of it was just the but not that token side shit. So let's try this. Looks like we're not gonna get more than four wins. I was hoping to get like five or six. Or something. Maybe I should have went back to this. I don't even remember what the hell happened here. Combatants I don't know. Begin. Oh well. But this way it'll make it easier because I won't have to edit <laughs> as many videos. Unless people actually like this, then I'll probably do more. I'll probably do like individual games after this because this marathon of like an hour and a half of talking has not been good so far. What? The graveyard again? And they come with defenses? This sucks. Fuck you, RNG. Alright. My man. I'm not okay with this. I don't want this either. So they come with a taunt. And a taunt in this lane is going to suck ass. Because they're just going to keep getting uh, people. I'm going second. So I'm going to summon my mammoth next turn. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, it's going to be good. No, why do you have like the one counter to my play here? And then you should have buffed this. Oh well. Rip. 
He's gonna play this for. He's gonna play on curve. If he doesn't make this trade, then I'm in a good spot. Charge. Yeah, to make that trade, he's just gonna go face. Fuck you, bro. Now you're gonna get punished. It's a crushing blow. What's up with these fucking stat lines? These four ones. He's actually trying to kill me. Like, this is such a dumb deck. He starts with like a taunt and then just these really aggressive stat lines. Too late for you. And what would happen here? Yeah, there's no point to uh to healing this. Yeah, I'm in trouble. He's already got seven damage on the board. Does he have another orc? Does that happen to be an orc? Yes it does. I think I'm dead. Especially going second. Like, starting with the taunt and getting to flood the board and then get synergies and stuff like that, it's really snowbally right now. Um. Like, I could play this, but it doesn't do anything. I'd like a dagger so I could, like, get a poison tray, but I can't even do that. And I don't want to play this because it dies for free. Okay, I see. Okay. Who's causing trouble? This is like the best play I can make right now. To like try and trade one for one. It's the best thing I can do. I gotta threaten that thing. Cause he's just gonna punch me in the face. Just drawing cards. Hopefully he doesn't have any like recovery or anything crazy here. He's still got all his mana. He didn't play anything. He played- he's got a bunch of answers or something then. If he's not a- uh, He's not trying to play. Fuck. Okay, so I'm gonna play... Where's my stalwart? This guy? I'm gonna play this first. I, raise the I need that taunt. Of course I didn't get it. Fuck this. Um... Hmm. The assassins themselves won't help me, but I really want the card draw, is what it is, so I think I'm gonna do that. It'd be nice to play something big. I don't know, I was like, is it... are the tokens worth it? You can only play one thing in this lane, so maybe I should just play a big guy. Actually, I can't even play the big guy, huh? So, let's... Let's play something that doesn't die for free. The night and then I can get some... Dies. cycle some, uh, some health off that drain. You know what? Oh wait, no shit, I miscounted. Whoops. That was a mistake. Because I saw the one mana still, because I didn't play my other card yet. And I was like, I'll just use the elixir here and I'll pop that guy in this lane. Because I thought I counted correctly and I did, I just... I got juked by the, uh, by the thing. Are you... Okay, there's this big play. This is actually okay, I have this card here. My board isn't good on this side, but I have this card which is going to help us. Oh, I could just transform it. Nice. Okay, that's good. Do that. And then... We'll play this on this side. Who's causing trouble? Um... Yeah. I don't have a lot of, like, buffing synergies, so I don't really feel the need to, uh... Do that shit there. Okay, we've recovered. We're down 20 HP, and we don't even have... We have, like, a one-card advantage. So those were his answers, it looked like. Or he had those things. And I should play this over here, but I want, uh... 10-10! Yep. You see? Like, this token shit, really good on this board. Um... If not, what... I what could I do instead? I I don't want to make this trade, but I feel like I need to because I just don't want to take any more damage. Let me play. Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have. Uh, let me play this. I need damage. So I need that stat line. I need the aggressive stats. That's actually really bad with all these fucking tokens, but he doesn't have any yet. Okay. So we're just going to stock up this lane, because I need power over here. And... Let's... 
Let's see what we have first. Let's give him two draws. Alright, nothing. Let's give him one more draw. Because if he has a creature, he played here. Like, if he got a prophecy creature, I'd assume he played here. Okay. I don't get any value here if I play this guy right now, but this gives me, like, the biggest board. Let's me trade up and stuff like that if he decides to do it. Puts the most pressure on the board. I can't really afford to slow play. Oh. Made some removal. Not that it really mattered. Okay, this isn't good. Okay, you play the big thing here, but we still have our dagger. So, we win the game. We should win the game here. Let's buff this. Yeah, let's buff this guy. You won't even get that. Eat your skeleton. And then... Just punch him. I don't think there's one card that saves him, or two cards that saves him, yeah. Okay. That was scary. Alright, so I got five wins. It's okay. I'm wondering if the... I'm assuming the arena scales, like, the further you go, even though I got whooped on, like, my first game or whatever that was, my second game. Which will the challenger pick? This is pretty good if we get like a really heavy hand. This is good if we run into another of those um, those token things where they just have a bunch of skeletons, you know? Because that thing trades for a couple, and then hopefully it trades for a couple, and then it gives us a card draw, which would be really nice. So I lost to these two, so let's see what the last guy is over here. Hopefully this deck's a little more straightforward. Red is pretty, uh, it's kind of like weapons and, it's like board centric, you know? It's like. You get a couple minions, you put a couple weapons, get some orc synergy or whatever, and that's how you do it. All these guys are titled the Victorious. I wonder if you get that if you win the arena. I don't know. This so was especially hardy. Got a lot of health. If you had the most magicka, or most creatures here, game with magicka, so that's the lane. Okay. I kind of like this card. This isn't even a good card for what we have, but I mean, it's a three drop. This would be good if we got like a. If we get that Mud Crab and like one other 3 2 or something, then we play this, it'd be really good. But we need some low drops, which we did not get. Although I do have the Elixirs, so that's pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna have a really aggressive deck, or not so much aggressive, just really cheap casting guys. And I can't. I don't wanna give him the extra Magicka, so I'm gonna just insta play that this way. To each player, that's fine. I can take that. And then I'll trade here. And then... Let's see. So I'll trade here. I'm probably gonna play this guy, or one of these guys. I may play this. It trades... horrifically. But I get a card. And I can't play anything else, so it's like, which 3-job am I playing? I'd rather give him this. Because this trades evenly, and I get a card. Instead of giving him this and then like taking damage and shit, so. My sword had oh, he got itches. that. Oh, he's gonna get the magic next turn. That's right. For you. Okay. I could heal this, but I mean, it's always zero cost, so we'll see what happens. Okay, so that's really good. I'm just gonna try and clear this. It looks like this is gonna be a really clear this lane heavy kind of fight. And then take over from there. Okay, so if I get value, this will be really good. Value? You! Okay. And then we will heal this guy. Probably didn't need to play it there. Enemy creature loses guard. I still have my stats, though, which is good. Which means I also get the Magicka. Prophecy, I'm playing this. I mean, I don't expect anything here. He's probably going to put something there when I do. But I think this guy is dictated on who controls this lane the best. And so far we're doing that. We have the bigger shit right now. And he ran out of all his cards. He has like really low drops. Or like, you know, low mana cost shit and he's just throwing them down. We're gonna kill the fire imp because I don't want to take the extra damage. I kind of want to give this all that taunt. I don't know though. 
And then let's... I really want to put this here, because I don't think it's going to go opposed, if you get what I'm saying. Plus, I don't like leaving this lane empty, you know, what if he prophecies a creature over here that I can't deal with? Yeah. But this would also help me keep control over here, but I do have finish off if he plays something big. I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to leave him up. That might not be right, but I don't want to give up the damage. I need to start trying to win the game at some point. Okay, so that was good that we played him over here. Does this have Venom? No. Just shackles everyone. And then he ran it in there. He didn't have to do that. Especially if it's shackled, you know. Why do I have... Oh, I was like, why do I have more mana? Um, Imperial Armor. Let's play this. Huh. And then we'll play. We can't play anything over here, so we'll just put this guy here. Alright, so the extra mana didn't really help us too much. It kind of feels like a duelist effect. I just took two down. Destroy an enemy creature if you have a creature with higher power. What? Really? Like, oh, I guess he technically kills? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was. I'm a little sad. I'm going to put this here. Oh, by the way, you can just hold the click and do this shit. But I'm going to put this here to fight. just get the stats. I'm going to put this. I don't want to saturate my mana. Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. You won't even see me coming. And then, let's see what he gets off his prophecy. So he did get one. Okay, so he just got a free... He just got two mana for free, basically. That's... whatever. Like, I don't want to float the three mana, but I don't see myself needing all my mana next turn. But this one I draw, like, a fucking... my seven drop. That sucks! Got the fire in, but I think we... we win. Right? We should win here. Flesh Atronach. A big ass Flesh Atronach. No, it's plus five. It's not quite enough yet. Come so let's dance with death. punch in the face. Alright, this game. For you. So we're going to have to be one of the two people that whoop my ass. So I think let's go back to the first one, because I think we are closer to winning that. They might have a condition now, because we've gotten through so many of these. That's kind of cool that you get more conditions as the... The thing goes on. Who will join our oh, we get another card. Prophecy. Like, four damage drain is going to be really nice if we can actually get him to stick. But then regenerate is going to help, because this is... This isn't quite a control deck. Like, we do have some removal and stuff, but it's kind of like a mid-range. So this might be better. I don't know, this makes some really good trades, especially on our... Yeah, let's get this, because we have some really good early creatures. Well, not good early creatures, but... Like, if we get this on one of these two ones, it's going to be a 3-4 that regenerates. That's going to clean up everything up to, like, 4 or 5 mana. That's going to be pretty good, but it requires that we have the board. We also have this guy. Should be pretty good. Plus, the AI goes face a lot. Hmm... I think I'm still going to take this. I really want this, but I feel like I need the... I need more late game or something. I just need the recovery and the extra damage, stuff like that. Alright, let's go to our... Let's go to this one. I would like to at least see the last guy. That'd be nice. I don't know. We... Okay, so that one had the skeletons too, and we got kind of bodied. I feel like I misplayed though, but this one I know I misplayed too, and we could have beat this one. So, let's see. Okay, so it's the regular conditions. I should throw this back. Because it's a prophecy card. I don't... You probably don't want to keep prophecy cards in your hand. But I really don't want to pass, like, the second turn if I don't draw anything. Yeah, so I was right. I was definitely right. I'm going first, which I don't know if I went first or second last time. But this is pretty standard. Okay. Let's... 
My hand's really shitty. I don't know what lane he's gonna start in. Gonna play something, charge bat. Get yeah, charge too, damn. I mean, it does get him four health, but he wasted an elixir and this to uh, to get that. So I don't know if that's exactly right. So I'm gonna get this. Get my extra attack. Trade off so he doesn't get your buffs. It's about the best I can do. He's gonna shackle. That puts him on two mana. He's gonna okay. Two two. If a creature died this turn, so see, he had some synergy right there. He's gonna shackle, and then trade the bat, and then this was gonna get, fuck, that would have been game over right there. So that was a good trade on our part. I want to put this guy here, cause it's gonna trade him down. I'd also like this, but who knows? Cause I like the stealth lane. This is gonna be really good in the stealth lane, cause it should guarantee an attack. Plus, it would be nice to get the Magicka, but I don't really need it right now. Just gonna play the guy. You gonna trade? He's gonna keep shackling. He's gonna shackle my big dude, right? You're gonna trade, though. You should trade, sir! Oh, that's a good play. And now I can't even attack him because he got rid of his stealth guy. That was actually really good. Um. He's gonna play my big guy. I don't care if this thing gets stealth. It's not really a big deal. Or not stealth taunt. It's one guy. I don't have a support out. You can make two trades, that's fine. And then go face, of course. Cause this is all about going face. So let's see. I can't even attack this yet. So what sucks is he's gonna get a good trade here. So I need to put the Spriggan in this here. Because he's going to trade here if he... I don't know, if it goes the way I expect it to. Actually, he's going to shackle my big dude, right? All these shackles, a lot of lockdown, but we are winning on cars right now. They cannot hope to outwit and this is the one... Ah, oh, man. Actually, this is good. This card went like 2 or 3 for 1. Which is what you want out of those kind of cards. We're gonna hit this. Oh. I don't like this trade. I really don't. I don't like trading down. But I don't want to play the dagger and then trade like that because that's not good either. So I'm just gonna play the uh, Swamp Leviathan and then I'm gonna trade. I probably shouldn't have. I probably should have actually just hit him in the face. But last time I died because I kept leaving that thing alive. And it got in like four attacks. Probably more and it was really bad. That's good. <laughs> plus, I don't think he's. Plus, I don't think he's gonna have another support destroyer because he just used one, so it's gonna be hard for him to have a second, you know. And then let's just clean this up. Cause I have enough damage on this side. I should have attacked first. Actually, maybe not. He gets a prophecy, so what's he get? Okay, just a crocodile. That's good. This is really good because it helps him trade against all these stealth things, you know. And then. This will be a good card here. I kind of want the Spider's Lair, because this is going to be the best turn I get for it, because he's on one card and six damage. I can play it next turn. Okay, I'm going to play it this turn, because then I can put the Dagger if I need to. It's not a great turn to do it on, especially when that happens. And it's probably going to put my Spider in this lane, so I can't challenge anything he has over there. But, I didn't see, he's going to stack this lane now. So here's some RNG, here's where the spider lands in here. Right, 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 yep. Called it. And it's got lethal, so it doesn't even matter. And he's got 6-8 damage here, so I'm in big trouble. I'm going to temp up Mummify, I think, on this one. No, that doesn't do anything. That takes like 1 damage off the board. Okay, this is what we're going to do. To be made. Charge. Buff this. Kill this one. Like this. Go face. Probably did that in the wrong order, but I do still have my spider. I think my spider can attack. Can you kill this? 
Damn, he still got eight damage. Yeah, I can't attack it. Oh, this is scary. He's got one card though. He's got the bat, he's got charge. Oh, he's trading though. Right on. I'm gonna kill the bat because I can't keep giving him HP. I think. So I could use the I could use the shackle spider. Alright, good. Um so I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna give him two cards, this is really scary. Okay, no prophecy. Actually the correct play would have been to kill this first, so I don't give him two cards. But maybe I want him to have those cards now, I don't know. That's where kind of the the new thing and the inexperience of the game comes in. For the black hand. So this is still shackle. I can play this ginormous Atronok and this. And this way, if he plays something, I can at least get some health. And then I have two really big dudes in each lane. He's spam taunting, and he didn't get anything killed this turn, so I think I win. So, we have lethal. We're going to attack with this one first so we don't give him his draw. That's where ordering comes in handy. Because if I did it the other way, he was guaranteed the rune draw. And that could do something. You know, he might top deck some damage or something. And, well, I don't think he had anything that could have beat me right there and killed me. But it's always best to, you know, play safe, proper mechanics, ordering, stuff like that. This was a good card. Like, just stat line's pretty good, regenerate's really good, breakthrough. Like, he's really good at just trading and cleaning up the board, it looks like. When a creature in this lane is destroyed. So this will be really good. Against that token shit. When this attacks and destroys a creature, draw a card, that could be, damn. All three of these are really good. This could be good against the tokens, but at four mana, how's... This isn't guaranteed to stick on the board, you know? This looks really good just for value. You get a lot of value, like you can clean up some lower stuff. Five attacks, pretty low at six mana. Because there is some shit that is about the same size or a little bigger than him. But it could be really good, because I know the next one has a lot of small creatures, a lot of three threes and stuff like that. And if I get any regenerate value, it'd be really good. But then this is good too, because if I start killing tokens, I start drawing cards. Plus it's one mana cheaper, so I can get it out sooner. Round two. What's this? Another step closer to ultimate glory. Pit dog. Okay. That's a... Uh, I remember Oblivion. I don't know if they did that in other Elder Scrolls games. And the Look arena like announcer kind of sounded like the guy from Oblivion, but I don't think it's the same glory. one. And before anyone asks, Oblivion was probably the best Elder Scrolls game. I know a lot of people like Morrowind. And I didn't play Morrowind, so I can't say, but I played Daggerfall when I was younger. Oblivion and Skyrim, those are the three I played, and Oblivion was definitely my favorite. So this is a really, this is almost a good card to keep. It's okay, it's too slow right now. This will be good for killing some small shit. And did we go first or second last time? I can't remember. I think we went first last time now, yeah. So, this kind of sucks, I get some value but then I lose it at the same time. But it can't really be helped, I have to fight. This is a good card to have here. I have to fight for board. So he gets one, I get one. And you get this, fuck that. I could buff. Give him a skeleton. He's gonna shackle. I think this is what happened last time. He just started shackling my dudes. Yeah, because he has a lot of lockdown then. Because all this stuff is low mana cost, he just floods this side and keeps getting tokens. And I don't have a lot of pings and incremental damage. I don't have a lot of taunts either. Prophecy drain. This is charge. 
So if I play this, can I play anything on two? I don't have two. So I might play this, and then I could play her and trade and get something else next turn. Actually, if I play this, he just trades one for one there. So that kind of sucks. This is a hard turn. This might be the best. Because this trade's the best. Like, he has to do a token and something else, you know? So I can do this. Just need to fight for board control, of course! Another shackle. And he's just gonna go face. Yeah, that's really annoying. And we're drawing decent cards, but like, every time he locks down, he just keeps hitting us in the face. Like, he plays something small, gets a little value, and then just starts hitting us in the fucking face. I don't have any two mana things, which really sucks. Although I could play the charge. And then like, I'll hit face. Okay, so let's see. I play for four. I go down to one. I charge, I get three. And then I could charge the bat. So that's going to be good. I'm going to leave this here. I don't like it here. But... Mm, I don't know. It's good at killing these little skeleton tokens. Get some health back, get another one of these, you get another skeleton. It's almost better to just let him keep having skeletons, honestly. I was like, I could trade here. And then... You know, then he has to make trades to play another guy, but I don't think it really matters. I'll put it on this lane. Cool. Right on. That sucks. Oh, he didn't go face, but he did kill my big guy. He is trading everything in. Nice. So we're going to... I can only play one card, so I was like, do I play the biggest one? Part of me really wants to play this and start getting some health back. I'm actually not down that far either. So I'm going to play... This is the right play. Let's see if he trades here, but otherwise I have control over here. He's still going face. Great, I get a trade. I get a free fucking trade here. Guard's going on that side, I have mine. Okay. I could heal this, but I'm gonna wait. Or I could buff this. And make sure that thing dies, and then he gets a skeleton. Let's see what he gets off this. Okay. Double trade here. Get this. And then... It's either guarantee kill anything that shows up, or get some heals back. I feel like this is probably better. Like, he has nothing for me to hit with this, but he's gonna put it over there, yeah. It's fine. It's plus one. That's okay, I still got my trades. That was all your mana, too. That's, that's basically... Okay, this is a Stormwind Champion with two less stats. That's actually good, because Hearthstone's kind of a fast game by comparison, so this game's a little slow down. Guaranteed an armor draw, you or card draw. Let's just take this. Alright, so I think we're... I think we're good. So we're going to chant some armor. Draw another card. Oh, I can't attack it, shit. That was a mistake. Bollock, guide me. I'm gonna save this attack in case. Okay. Death to dry scales. To dry scales, no. Um. I feel like he's kind of giving up control over here. Like, what if he executes this? Then I don't have a follow-up play. I'll leave this here. I'm gonna put this here. Power of the hist fills me. I wanted to put this guy here and then get like the double trade, but that's I don't even have that guaranteed. Destroy a creature. 
That sucks, and Shackle. He really had two removals for the same lane. That fucking sucks. He killed my Werebat, but that's... that's alright. Alright, this thing is... you just use Piercing Javelin or whatever. So, my shit's free, right? Like, GG? I can only play... well, I can play this in some else. Right, so we're here. Put my big dude here. Have fun and good luck. Death to dry skin. I nah, it didn't matter which order I attacked him right there. Alright, nothing crazy. Okay. He put it over there. That's fine. Like, he has to kill this this turn. Otherwise. Like, he has to do something. Right, he has to do something big. That's something big. You're stacking right here. I have lethal. Can you put it here? I have lethal right here. Other friendly creatures? These aren't creatures? That's interesting. Other oh, defenses. Ah, interesting. Okay. Like, I had lethal on this side, bro. You had the. I think he could have lived if he actually put a gate here and a gate on this side. I actually think that would have been it. But he didn't do that. Alright, let's see if we can get the uh, the last one here. Choose your reward. Orcs? I don't have orcs. I don't like this card, so I'm going to take this. That was kind of underwhelming. We got a legendary pick or whatever on our first victory, and then nothing since then. Alright. A challenger triumphs! What challenge awaits next? Let's find out! Come on, man. Let's see what you got. Oh, you're blue and black? I'm actually not as scared of that, but you never know. Hopefully he's not, like, too much harder than the other ones. I expect him to be harder to have, like, some kind of lane shit going on. So we got two lanes. Has shot down every foe he's faced. <laughs> what? So far. That's so dumb. Oh my god. This is so broken. I don't have... Oh. I don't have support destruction. Otherwise I can get rid of that. That sucks. Okay, so. Tips. If you do the arena. You know, get some creature that can destroy support. Like those... Drogs or whatever. Try and get one of those. Because this is dumb. Oh my god. Does this do more? Like, I'm on the clock to kill this guy. He's just gonna have a bunch of taunts and shit, right? Ugh. This is actually good, though. He gives me... Here's my guy next to Plus attack. One damage. Is it always one damage? Okay. That's fine. That's still scary, but it's fine. That was good. Oh, and it summons a skeleton. That's so good. Oh, man. Um. Hmm. This is scary if he has buffs. But otherwise, not too much. Like, any synergies will make this really good. I can't really play anything. Okay, so like, I want to make this trade right here, this value trade, because this way I can go like, I need two for one, just kind of like, nothing for one and a half, or for like a half and then another half kind of thing. But then like, what am I doing next turn? I have four mana. And then I can play this in this lane. Or I could use this to clean up. So I have to play this here, because I'm going to make this trade. And then I'm going to make a play like that. I don't think that's right. Well, no, I do think that's right. It's just that he's gonna go face, right? Because this game just goes face. Yeah. By what do you have for your three mana? I move as a shadow. When it dies, draws a sword. Okay. Lethal, so I have to make a trade here. Damn, this would have been so sick if it was anyone else. Actually, it doesn't really matter, huh? Let's go with this. Let's go with this, get some health back. And then we'll play our, uh... This thing here. I do love a good fight. Damn, taking a, one damage a turn, that fucking sucks, man. I just need him to have, like, a couple dead turns and I can get back in. Damn, that sucks. 
Your destruction is at hand. Ah, <sighs> was this death rattle? Oh, you get steel sword. It sucks. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this because he put a really strong guy over here. And make the draw. Come dance with death. Okay, so I want to trade here first because I don't want him to get the chance to trade this and then RNG his three damage over to the list this lane and kill this guy. Come dance so I'm gonna risk taking an extra damage the odds. from this thing because this is the only way I can really kill that. He's already got yeah he's got another seven damage on board. I'm fucking hurt, dude. Feel my he just goes face. It sucks because like this one extra damage a turn is really powerful. And he's got all the stall, like, this is such a fucking messed up deck. He's gonna get the sword, like, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead this turn. I can't do anything. Oh, actually, no, I can play, uh... So, if I can recover, if I get some health, I need some healing. So he gets the sword if I attack this, and then if I trade here... He's got 8 damage, plus I take that, that's 9, so I have to, like, taunt or something. The other thing is... not giving him this chance. No, because then he can give the sword of the token, right? That's not gonna help him, actually. Uh, this is tough. I need to play a taunt in this lane. I need to play this in this lane. I can't put it anywhere else. My sword hand itches. So he's gonna get five health. Come dance. Oh man. Death. put this here. It's really the best I can do. So the other thing I can do here is I could play the armor and buff this so where he can't get a free trade and then like I could trade and uh, use finish off. I'm gonna do that anyway so I'm just gonna play this here. Alright let's hope we live. Oh that's not good he's drawing cards. If we can stabilize we can actually we can actually do this, but he's just that. This thing. He's doing too much. Okay, we got a guard. And you start going face. So, where's. We're gonna finish off here. Give him five health. And then I need a taunt. Here and I need to play the Imperial Armor. That's the only way I don't just outright die, basically, or like condemn myself to dying. Come dance with death. I'm gonna clear this. He's got that sword, and it's probably not the right play because I just I need to do damage at this point. Breakthrough? What the fuck? Okay, that's actually fine. It doesn't attack. That ward though, that was like the best one it could have got. Transform. What is this? Into a random creature. Holy shit. Another road. Okay, so his board's clear. He has this. He's gonna get... Oh, he drew a card? Oh no, it cycled. That's right. And we have seven turns to kill him, basically. Oh, damn, I want to put the big guy. I'm actually gonna put this. Okay. My Just gotta put the most power down. We can... We can win this. I need a heal. Also, I need to draw one of my heals. There's a sword. What is this? Summon him. I'm trying to read, bro. Oh, he transformed it? Why? He put the sword on and transformed it. What a dumbass. LOL, AI. 
Oh, what is this? It's a 6-6. Six, six. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I get this here? Get myself some mana. And then... 6-6 six, six or 7-5, they're basically the same. Can I play two things? I can't. Uh, I'm just gonna play the biggest guy I can. I'm gonna play him here. So I have a taunt here. So hopefully that's enough. Come dance with death. That's probably a mistake. I should have popped his uh, his shit first to see what he gets. Face my blade. All right, no prophecy draw. Like no prophecy play. Okay, two draws. We might win. Unless he has direct damage. It would be a little fucked up if this deck had more direct damage. Like if he had burn spells. I don't think he does. He's got blue. Lightning's blue. So he could have a lightning bolt. Alright, he's starting to peter out on stuff. I think I need to kill him this turn, because otherwise I take... Yeah. Do I have lethal? Do I have enough? I do, right? Okay, so I have 13, 14, 20. I just need to order it correctly. Hopefully he doesn't draw anything fucking sick. So I'm gonna do this first. He only gets one draw. It's prophecy, no heal. If he gets a heal, I'm dead. Give all friendly minions keywords. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I lost. I lost because of some... Wait, no, no I didn't. Okay, I'm so good. Just scared, man. I'm fucking scared. Face my blade. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to... Actually, I can't kill him. Actually, I can. Okay. Come dance with death. Give him one more draw. Face my blade. Oh wait, yeah, here's lethal. Okay. This skips his next draw. I'm dumb. There we go. Ooh. Victory. That was scary. Got eight wins though in our first arena, that's pretty good. It's a solo arena, granted. I don't know if we get this lucky against players, but that was pretty cool. Level 10! Woo! Alright, goodies. Where are my prizes at? Level up rewards, oh gosh. I got a legendary. This is what I was talking about, look at this. The same thing as that other one that had, like, another effect besides the 4-4. Four -four. I think I already have one of those. Oh, what? It upgraded. I didn't even notice. Okay. That makes more sense. It was like a vampire cat. I really want to play some fucking Elder Scrolls now. <laughs> That's what this game is making me do. Like, I'm enjoying the card game aspect, but still. Alright. Wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. Because I'm double clicking the pack, I don't get my arena rewards right now. So hopefully I didn't just bug it out. Anything good? Not really, got a bunch of commons and two rares. That's not bad. That's... That could be good. It's kind of like a savage roar. For one more mana. But it doesn't affect face. Do you see what I'm saying? Could be good in a token deck. Where's my arena? For my rewards! Don't fuck me, game! Okay. You yeah. Nine wins, what? Well Nine wins. A dramatic finish deserves to be rewarded! Yeah, it does. Cash, mo cash. What the hell is this? Promotion reward. Packs, packs. 
And a legendary. Prophecy Guard Last Grass. 3 mana 0 1. Or Last Gasp, I should say. Adoring Fan will return. Adoring Fan can't be silenced. That's pretty funny. It's like some really annoying adoring fan that you can't get rid of ever. Ever. Right on. Well, that was a lot of fun. So, that was kind of my preview. I know it's kind of weird that I just did an arena run and I did a little bit of explaining, but hopefully this shows you just what the game's about. Uh, if you guys want to see more, I'll do more. You just PC recording is kind of hard for me. Choose it if you... But yeah, I had a lot of fun. So let's open our last packs. I'll probably cover this game too, maybe, depending. Depends how much I like it. Depends how much time I have too, so I'm not going to make any promises. Is this golden? Like, what the fuck? No, I already had this. Okay. Wait, no, why is that the shiny effect? Like, I have this card. I thought I had this card, maybe I don't. It's common. Yeah, because I don't know what they do in this game for other effects. You know, like how Hearthstone has uh, golden cards. I don't know what they do in this one, if they do anything at all. Yeah, pretty crap. Pretty crap packs, but that's okay. When you just start out, all packs are good packs because you need stuff, right? The other you thing that really scares me. To but purchase new card packs or enter the arena. Okay. I mean I have three hundred. So we'll see. But where's the where's the store? Buy packs and tickets. Right, so this is what you do. Buy arena tickets. This doesn't even open. There it is. Yay. Is there like a value? Can you Probably got gold. Like gold and actual cash in here. I have to use... Oh my god, actual cash. I'm about to spend real money. No shit. Like, this is the Hearthstone price point. You can't do that, dude. Your game's in fucking beta. That's okay. And then all we can buy are packs. Let's just save our gold for now. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with them. But, yeah. So before we wrap up, let's look at our new cards. Let's see what else we have. Just type in the new. Okay. Legendary? How many legendaries do I have? These are my three neutrals. I took this from the story everyone else was saying to get tier. I didn't think tier was that good. The only thing that was really good about him was Prophecy, but Prophecy I don't think is an amazing mechanic, it's just kind of like... When Prophecy hits, and it actually does its job, it can be insane. But, a lot of the times, it's not guaranteed, because if you think of it like this, you only get 5 rune draws per game, right? Unless there's something that increases them again that I haven't seen yet. And your decks can have between... your decks have to have between 50 and 70 cards. So, like, even if you have all 50 and you take 5 damage on turn 1, it's almost a 10% chance to hit a Prophecy. It's not too good, and that's... Like, depends how many you have. Oh, actually, no. I can't do math. I can do math, but I can't do this math for some reason, but, like... I don't know. However, it's divvied up. You know, you only get 5 chances to hit one of your Prophecy cards, so it's like, it gets better the more you have, but then it also gets worse, because a lot of the Prophecy cards by themselves aren't great. Right? So it's just kind of praying to RNG Jesus. And, oh, this card was so dumb. This is an actual card? This was a boss card. This thing was so stupid. This thing was so dumb. It's 9 mana, but still, it was ridiculous. Because I think the last boss had it. And the first time we played it, I lost, and I had to play him again. <laughs> Breakthrough, summon, 1-1 one, one Imperial Grunt. That's it? That's not that good. For 7 mana? I mean, you can upgrade it. That's what the green arrow is. It's an upgrade card. Oh, I guess these are... Oh, I see. Okay. 
I think I'm understanding the upgrade system. Because it's like by color, right? Because I played green the most. That's why this guy upgraded, so I wonder where you can check that. That'd be nice to see. Oh, and you can look. Reach character level 50 to upgrade. And you can look at them. Hmm. Maybe that'll be a video. We'll just look at cards. Like legendary cards and see where they go. Summon a 1 1 Grunt. They gain 1 health. Yeah, see, this is good. Where it says then, it means you're going to summon guys. Or summon a guy and then get health. This still isn't that good. For a legendary, that's not that good. Like, this guy isn't either, but, I mean, if he hits face, he's... Like, if he gets one turn, especially on the stealth lane, that's kind of where you drop him. If he gets one turn to punch face, he's ridiculous. And then you have to, like, hard remove him, because he's gonna just destroy anything else. So, 9 mana drain. That's all he has, and then summon a blood magic spell, or draw a blood magic spell. Blood magic lord. Attacks and destroys a creature, draw a blood magic spell. Oh. Whoa, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Because it's got the drain too. Like this would probably be really good if you have obviously a blood magic deck. I have no idea what that is yet. But just for value, this is nuts. That is actually nuts. Summon that creature. Not even draw a copy. Summon that motherfucker. But, yeah. We'll stop here. My voice is hoarse. Uh, this is a lot of fun. So, in the future I'll probably make more videos. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the arena. And if you guys are looking forward to this, I know you can still sign up for the beta. I signed up for the beta like three months ago, because I saw it on Facebook. And that's when I signed up. But, yeah. So check it out if you like card games. This one's pretty fun. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around.